Good morning. Right, uh, I wanted to do a video on all the bits that you should get with your mailing gym and uh, how to put her together. Uh, it's going to be quite a long video, uh, but I will do my best to um, try and explain everything. So some people have already got theirs. Those people in the UK, they've already got theirs. There's still a couple more to go out because I wanted to redo the hair on them. Um, so yeah, let's dive straight in and uh, get on with it. So in your uh, pack, you will get lots of little bags like this. And I'm going to take you through every single bag and uh, how to sort of load her up, if you like. Now, when you get her, her hair will probably be all over the shop. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, that's just where she gets travelled. So in this bag here, you will find that there is a uh, set of tweezers and there is a bottle. So the bottle, I would just fill with water. Uh, you can put a little bit of sort of hair gel in it if you want to try and style the hair yourself. And all you've got to do is just give it a little spray with water. Don't worry if it gets on her jacket and stuff because that'll fine, it'll dry out. So just give it a spray and you can either squidge it down with your fingers or you can use a, a brush or a comb if you like. You'll find you'll get little tiny bits of hair that sort of like stick out and hang down the bottom. You can even just trim those off. Again, it's just one of those things that doesn't matter how many times you comb it, you'll always get a little tiny bit of straggly hair. So I just give it a little trim off. Um, but yeah, you can completely soak the head, it's fine. Nothing will wash off the face or anything like that. So that's the first thing. Um, now the next sort of thing that you, you're gonna wanna do if you want to sort of load her up is pull her head off. So if you've done her hair, you've got to start again. But just take the head off, that should come off quite easily or you might need to give it a little tug. Um, the other thing you might wanna do, and I would suggest this, if you're gonna put her arm cuffs on, the big ones, then is to remove the hands, just because you'll, you'll find it much easier to put them in. So you just gotta give them a little twist and they should come off without too much trouble. Sometimes the actual peg will stay in there, that's not a problem, you can leave that in there. So that's what you should have. So the next thing uh, we'll go through is we'll go through her sort of chest rig and backpack. So in this bag, what you should have is you should have the chest rig and the backpack. Now you'll notice the backpack has got quite long bits on here. Uh, that's so you can sort of bring it over her shoulders and she can just wear this on its own without the helmet. Um, but uh, for the for this, we'll just stick it on like it is. So once you've got that one out, you're then gonna need the helmet itself. So inside the helmet bag will just be the helmet. And then you might find that in there loose are the two ear cuffs, the ear defenders. Um, and all you do with those is they've got a little tiny magnet inside and you just stick those, let me see if I can do it, they just go in there. Doesn't matter which way around they go, you'll find one is sort of a left and one is a right, one's got a tiny micro aerial on, um, so that goes in there. Don't worry about putting the aerial in yet, that's uh, a, a bit later on. So then what I suggest you do is slot this together. Now to do this, again, you've got to be careful with these figures, because the resin I use, although it's a tough resin, um, it, you can still break these things, um, the same as uh, any sort of figure. So you've just got to be careful. So literally, I would start with the top and slot that one in there and slot that one in there. Again, sometimes you have to give them a little bit of a push. Just make sure you hold both sides of it. So then you've got this. So the next bit is to put the backpack on. And again, the same with the back, is literally hold both of the clips and push the clips oh, together. Um, you can use the tweezers if you want, but they're plastic tweezers and they're not the greatest ones in the world, um, but they will help. Okay, so then you've got that. If you want to take it apart, you can use, you can use um, your fingers to pull them apart, but I would recommend using the tweezers and then just squeeze the top bit to pull those in. You're gonna kinda need loads of fingers for this, and then you'll just be able to pull that apart, like that, okay? So once you've got that on, 
Uh, it then just goes over her head, push it down on the top, and then you've got the two side clips that you just need to do up. And again, the same with those, you can use the tweezers, but these ones, it's a little bit trickier for those, uh, but you can just slot those together. Oh, like that. So then you've got her backpack all sorted and the helmet on. Now, uh, what next? We'll do the arm cuffs next. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. So you should have got two, two of those, a left and a right. Again, it's completely up to you which way around you want to put them. Um, and on there, you should have just got this little bit and that little bit there. So when you put um, them on, they're going to clip into these. Now, I've really struggled with these because these are just glued on. They're glued on with a glue called, I use a glue called Fabri-Tac. It's brilliant glue. Um, you can use it for so many different things. Uh, but sometimes what happens is the glue doesn't quite get to the edge and these can peel off um, and come a bit loose. If that does happen, either get yourself some glue or you contact me and I will sort it out. As with all of my figures, um, if there's any problems with them, you just contact me straight away and I will deal with it. So uh, the next thing is you're going to take that and you're just going to sort of push it in and you'll find it stops naturally. And then I've adjusted them so they should just be able to reach. And then again, hold the side of the clip and push in like that. Again, they're quite stiff, but they've got to be to be able to hold it on. And then the same with the other side. That one just pushes on like that. You can loosen them off slightly if you want them to sort of hang a bit lower. Um, I quite like mine quite low. Um, and there you go. So this one probably could be adjusted up a little bit tighter. So then once you've got that stage, uh, what you can do, you can pop your head back on. I'm just going to shove her head back on. And again, just give that a little push. Some of them you'll find are quite stiff because the neck uh, connectors are quite big. Um, but what's next? So next we'll go through the, uh, if I can find them. Ah, this one. So if you find the, the, the chainsaw, you'll find there's an adapter in this bag. So this is an adapter and this goes on either side, completely up to you, and it just goes in with a little magnet like that. And then once you've got that in, you can attach any of the tools. You'll find some of them are, uh, you have to sort of push in, but they'll be held there by the magnet. So uh, this is the other bag and this is full of more attachments. So in that one, you should have got the pliers, uh, the blow torches and the pincers. And again, you'll find some of them are quite stiff, but I wanted them to be stiff so you could actually sort of grip things with them. Uh, so, and again, that just goes on there like that. So as we're on to that, the uh, multi-tool, this is a handheld sort of device. That is exactly the same. So in there is another magnet and any of your tools can go on there, twist round, rotate, absolutely any of them. Just go on there. So next up, oh, let's do the hand, because the hand's quite a tricky one, in the sense of, it's quite a delicate thing, the hand. So you'll find that the, the fingers are articulated, but the actual connections for the fingers are very, very delicate. So do be very, very careful when sort of handling the hand if you like. And remember, there is a magnet in here, which I'll show you again. And that has got a ball joint on the end, and that one just literally slots in there. So the next bag, oh, is this one here. Now in this bag, it's got the mining head, which again, just goes onto the adapter like that, or it can go on the hand tool like that. Uh, and then you also have got in here a drilling head. And there should be two more parts in here. Uh, 
One is the drill, which just slots into there like that. And that's sort of held there by the magnets in the back. And again, that can either go on the hand connector or it could go on the multi-tool. It's completely up to you. Now, the last bit in that bag is this tiny, tiny little piece of metal. Now, what this is, this is the aerial that goes in the back. Okay, so that just slots in the back there. I would put that on right at the very end because if she falls over, um, then it's going to bend it. I mean, you can bend it back, but again, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So next up, let's do this one. So in this one, this is the pod carrier. So your pod carrier has got all magnets all in here. And then... Oops. So in this bag, you've got all of the pods. Okay, so one of these, any one, doesn't matter, goes into the back of the backpack. And that's just held on with a magnet again. Okay, but the rest of them will all just attach to the underside of there, all with the magnets. Okay, simple as that. Now, uh, there's one more bag, which is this one here. Now, this one has got in it the little handheld controller, and that's got a magnet on, and I'll show you that one again in a minute. The uh, pod charger and programmer, and your pods just slot up in there, like that. And then there's also a magnet on the top, which I'll show you what that does in a minute. And then she's got her little data pad. Now that has got a magnet there. So the data pad can fit onto the front of there, like that. And it can also fit onto that one, like that. Okay. And then the last thing you've got in there is a very, very tiny little tracking device. And that, sometimes um, in the bag, I'll tell you what happens, is you think, oh, it's not there, I haven't got it. Um, it actually gets stuck up inside there. So you just need to whip that one out. And this bit can go pretty much anywhere on the front. So there's a magnet here and a magnet here, and that will just slip on there. And then on the, the, the sort of uh, battery unit, which is down here, you'll find there's loads of little magnets on there which you can see, and you can also, if you wanted, attach that to there, okay? And that is pretty much it. She is um, all done and all loaded. Totally forgot, uh, in my excitement, as always, uh, one more bag. So the bag <laughs> containing the visor for the helmet. And that literally just slots on there. And you might wanna just give it a little twist to get it in. Okay, now, other thing that I need to forget or uh, forgot to mention was if you've got uh, Mei Ling, then all of the parts from Mei Ling and uh, Usaka, uh, Irish, and Dromt are all interchangeable. So, for example, if you have got, say, Irish um, and you take his one of his uh, grenades, that will, he says attached to the magnets on here, okay? And the same on here. Exactly the same uh, with the guns. They will attach on there. All, all the different bits are completely attachable. Um, and the same with uh, this, the same with uh, Usaka's parts as well. So all the bits from there, you should be able to attach onto there and vice versa so her bits will go on there um yeah so uh yeah great if you've got any questions about setting her up if you've got any queries all this all that then just contact me straight away uh, and i'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible uh i've already started the next one i'll start planning the next one um hopefully i would imagine it's going to be probably about another month 
uh, before I can uh, show that one off or start to show progress pictures. Uh, really, really hope that um, you love your figure and you're happy with your figure. And um, yeah, we'll get on with the next one. Like I said, there's two more that have got to go out, but that's because I wasn't happy with the hair. And um, yeah, great. All right. Cheers. Thanks so much.